just so distressed and devastated and I just feel like that I have to come on here and share and, and talk about this horrible life disappointment of a thing that doesn't actually matter. So <laughs> I know that was slightly dramatic and I tried to make a dramatic thumbnail because I'm trying this whole clickbait thing. Don't know if it'll work or not. But please make sure to be subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment on down below because I really do want to interact with everybody. And today I'm going to be telling my Louis Vuitton horror story about how I bought a trunk and did not get to keep the trunk because of Louis Vuitton. So I do want to say before really getting into this is that I do not blame the SA. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm still, okay, I'm still disappointed, but I'm not upset. And I was never upset or angry or like to the point of tears. It was just a disappointment. And so let me tell you guys what happened. So we went into the Louis Vuitton store in Honolulu on the um, luxury row, Kalakala Avenue, and had a lovely SA who showed us a lot of really cool, just special, unique pieces. But I happened to be looking at the trunks because as I am planning, well, I was planning to purchase a trunk this fall when I officially received my CPA license. But the trunk with tax in Hawaii was going to be less than the trunk pre-tax at my home store. And I just, here's the thing, like I'm an accountant, I think about the numbers, like it doesn't make sense. When I had the money saved up to be able to afford the trunk in Hawaii, it didn't make sense to wait a couple of months for a date just to spend over a thousand dollars more on the exact same thing like that didn't make sense and so my husband and I talked about it and we were like yeah like let's go ahead and get the trunk we weren't able to get it that day because I wanted to think about it before doing it because it was a large amount of money I'd never spent that much money on anything and so spending my money on that I really wanted to just think about it and the next day we go on the cruise, I texted the SA and I said, hey, like, I'm going to come back. Like, I want to get a trunk. Like, let's make an appointment so that I can come back on the day that we get off of our boat and we can get this trunk settled. So, finish the cruise, go to Louis Vuitton, and we ended up having to wait around about an hour because the SA had just sort of, like, made, like, a random appointment time, and he had some other customers that he also had appointments with. So it was just sort of waiting, like, we waited around for, like, an hour, hour and a half, then spent another half hour getting this order settled. Like, we paid for it. The plan was that this trunk, and I'll put a picture of her up here, because they were out of trunks in store, it was going to be ordered in, and then the painter who was on vacation would paint the trunk and then they would ship it home to me as we were leaving Hawaii the next day. And the painter was on vacation, the trunk wasn't there, so like obviously it wasn't like I'd be able to get it the next day before we left anyway. So I was fine with that, totally great. My husband and I left, we went over to lunch and when we were at lunch, we got this call. And as I said, hey, I need you to come back. And I was like, hey, like, is everything okay? Like, what's, like, what's going on? He's like, I just, he said, I'm not really sure. He's like, but you need to come back. And I was like, okay, well, like, we're at lunch. He's like, that's fine. Like, just come back as soon as you can. So we're like, okay, that's weird. So we ate our lunch, finished up, went back to the Louis Vuitton store. And our SA was waiting for us at the door because I texted him when we were on the way. And he took us into the back and he's like, I'm so sorry. He's like, but he's like, we like, we're just, we're having an issue getting your trunk. And so he's like, I'm going to get the manager. Like, we're going to talk to you about the options. And like, I was just like, okay, like this is weird. But I was like, you know, like, yeah, like we'll figure it out. Like it's going to be fine. And the manager came and this is where I really get irritated because I think that there was a really big breakdown in communication. And again, I'm not irritated at the SA. Like it is not the SA's fault, I don't blame him. By the manager, I was told essentially three different stories in the span of like, what felt like an hour to me. I don't know, maybe it was only a half hour, but I was, I was told multiple different stories. And the first story I was told is that they'd oversold the trunks that they were allocated for their store for this quarter. But then he said, but he said, we'll be able to order it as a transfer from a different store and if the store approves it, that's fine. Is essentially what I was told. 
And then he said, actually, we can't do that. And I said, okay, why not? And like, he really didn't give me a reason. And then he said, he said, well, he said, we can't do your order because can't get it to the store, paint it and then ship it to you. He said, but we can ship it to you. And I said, okay. Um, I said, that's fine. Like, how do we then get it here? I said, do we just need to mail it here? Like, do we need to have something set up so that the artist can do the painting? He said, oh, no, no, no. You just, you just need to have the artist in your store do the painting. And I said, well, I said, but I said, we don't have an artist in our store. Our, our store is really small. That was one of the things about coming here is that we really liked the artist and we really want her to do it because she does such a beautiful job on the elements that I'm wanting to have painted on this trunk. Well, he said, maybe we can have it shipped here and then we can pay. He said, but then we'll have to charge you more to ship it to you. And I was like, wait, and I was like, okay, I said, are you going to have to charge like the sales tax difference? And he's like, yes. He said, well, I have to charge sales tax difference because we're shipping. I was like, that's fine. And he said, okay. He said, well, he said, the trunk that you've ordered, we still can't get for you. And I said, okay. So that's, that's okay. He said, we'll need to cancel the order. And I said, okay. Like, and then we'll just redo the order. He said, yes. He said, we'll just redo the order. I said, okay, that's fine. Well, then he tells us that he's like, by the way, we can't actually cancel your order right now. You've got to wait until the order gets here, but we'll just go ahead and add another order and charge you again for a Louis Vuitton trunk. And he said, and we'll ship it to you. And I said, well, but that, that doesn't, I said, hang on, hang on. We said that we didn't want to ship it to you because we wanted the artist here to paint it. And he said, well, he said, we just can't do that. He said, we're going to just have to ship it to you and you just have to figure out the painting on your own. He said, you just need to drive to store. And I said, well, I said, the nearest store that has painters, to my knowledge, is like four and a half hours away. I said, I really don't want to have to drive, meet a painter that I don't know if I don't know that I like their work, and then possibly leave the trunk there or end up without having my trunk painted at all. Well, and he said, so that's not, he said, that's not my problem. You just have to figure that out. He said, you just need to drive your trunk somewhere and have it painted. And then here's the thing. This trunk costs $5,000. I don't want to just entrust a $5,000 trunk painting to someone that I don't know, to a store that I've never been to with people that I've never interacted with. And who might not even, by the way, accept doing the trunk. Cause he said, he said, but he said, if you drive there, he said, they may not even want to do your trunk because you didn't purchase there. And I said, well, like, basically he would tell me to do something and then say, well, but that actually doesn't work. And that was really frustrating. And the really, really frustrating part is that he wanted me to have two, the manager wanted me to have two different trunks on my credit card bill. With the first one only getting refunded once it arrived in the store. Like the trunk was coming to their store. The, the transfer had been accepted. But apparently they have a store policy in Hawaii, and this is important to know for anyone who's wanting to get a trunk in Hawaii, they have a store policy where they will not ship trunks that arrive to the store or, and need to be painted. You have to come back to the store to pick up your trunk. They will not ship it. Which means, at least if my understanding is correct, that had I bought this trunk, had it been in the store and I'd bought this trunk, and had I left it to be painted, and had it been painted, I then could not have gotten my trunk because I wasn't going to be in Hawaii. And so like, I was just obviously like very, just very confused because this manager had told me all these different stories. And like, if you just can't do it, just tell me that you can't do it. Like, just tell me the truth and tell me how we resolve it. And don't, don't lie to me. Don't give me a run around and don't try to make me then buy another trunk with the same issue. I was just so confused and so we left the store we were waiting on our uber to go back to our hotel because i was just like i don't i don't even want to do anything else like i'm just so confused and my husband's like hey like that's fine like we'll just go home like we'll go back to the hotel we'll read like it'll be great and so we're staying there waiting for our uber our essay runs out and says hey 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 he said i'm gonna talk to the manager that's above him see if they can override the policy since the trunk is already coming here and that way you'll be able to get it and we'll be able to paint it and send it to you since the trunk is already arriving here. And since the transfer's already been made and you've already paid it, he said, then we might just have to send you an extra charge for the difference in the tax. I was like, totally fine. Like, I'm fine with that. And so then the trunk finally arrived several days later. We're already back home. And I get an alert that the trunk's arrived. I haven't heard anything from the SA. So I texted him. I was like, hey, like, were, were we able to work this out? Like, am I going to be able to get my trunk? And... He said, yeah, talk to the manager and like, there's just no way. And I was like, okay, like, that's fine. I was like, so I said, I just, I said, okay, I said, let's just go ahead and cancel it so that I can get the money back on my card. 
And it wasn't just this SA who thought this could happen because while we were ordering this trunk, several SAs came up to us because we were at the trunk and they could tell that they were doing an order, wanted to know what we were doing. And the SA explained like, oh yeah, we're ordering this trunk, it's coming in, the artist will paint it when she gets back and then we're gonna ship it to him. And the SA's like, oh, like that's so awesome. Like, how are you gonna have it painted? So like other SAs weren't even like, oh yeah, we definitely can't do this. So like, I feel like this particular store I know they do a lot of business. I know they have a lot of people who buy a lot of things and who spend way more money than I did on my trunk. But it made me feel like, and perhaps as being overdramatic, that like my money wasn't good enough and that, cause they're like, oh yeah, like you're the trunk that we oversold. And so like, I felt like that I was basically treated as not important enough of a customer. Um, not necessarily by the SA, but by the manager specifically, I felt like that the manager really just didn't care and treated more like I was the problem when it was their store who made the mistake. And so, like, all I wanted, like, like he had just said from the beginning, like, we're so sorry, like, we made this mistake, like, it'll take us a week to get it through the system to get everything cleared out so that we can do your refund. Like, I would have even been okay with that as opposed to the runaround that I got feeling like and like it's not like I want to be an exception to the rule because like I get store policy like if that's store policy that's fine but if that's store policy you need to educate your sales associates on that and there needs to be a better system in place one that they can tell if they've oversold their trunks so that they don't sell it to people and then have to cancel their orders two I think there needs to be better communication about how these sales actually work if it cannot if you can't ship an item to a customer and the customer said that I need this item shipped, then don't do that. Don't say it'll come here, we'll do this for you, and then we'll ship it to you. Like don't, I just felt very lied to in the whole experience. And I've never felt lied to like that in any other customer service situation. And I've not experienced, like whenever I've gone to the national store, like they've been able to fix anything for me with the exception of my experience with one like really snooty essay. Every other essay that I've ever met has been super nice, super helpful. Anytime I've ever needed to use customer service, like to get something fixed, to, to order something that was hard to find, I've always had a really good experience with Louis Vuitton. This has not turned me off of buying Louis Vuitton. This has turned me off from ever buying anything at the Louis Vuitton in Hawaii. Things don't always go the way that you want and like that's okay, like it's just a thing, I'm fine. Oh my goodness, the worst thing happened, I didn't get to spend money. Like, if that's the worst thing that happened is that I couldn't spend a bunch of money. Oh my goodness, like how great is that? Like, I get to keep my money. And they did refund it, but it was just, they were sort of just, it, it was sort of like the attitude that I think that really just kind of bothered me. And so, yes, you can get better prices in Louis Vuitton, Hawaii. But the same trunk that I was saving in just over a thousand dollars with at Hawaii from my regular mainland USA store, if I were to go over to Paris and buy this, I'd I'd be saving another like 1300 bucks over what I was saving in Hawaii already. So a total of like over 2300 bucks. And so like I still think the Hawaii store is worth it. I think that if you want Louis Vuitton, go to Europe and get it in Louis Vuitton and just avoid the Hawaii store. And that is my Louis Vuitton trunk horror story. So there you go. I hope you have a great rest of your day, YouTube, and are subscribed to my channel, as most of the time I do pretty positive videos as opposed to this one. So I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye!